What's up everybody, Brett here, back today playing some more Age of Wonders 4. And we are picking up where we left off last time with our Lucian Copper Veins run. <laughs> and we've got a bunch of armies spread around doing a bunch of cool stuff. We're going to try to take down this tier 4 White Wolf with this army, which may or may not be up to the task. I, I hope it is. We might lose a ton there. Um, we've got our two strongest armies marching down south to kind of I don't know if we're going to be able to kill these dudes, but we may try. Or we'll go pick on these guys. I don't know. We're, we're going to war. Uh, we've got a guarding army here, just kind of a, a trash army that we're leaving behind to sort of protect our stuff. And I think that's it for now. Uh, we're also going to try to annex the Spring of Youth to finish this quest here. That's in the turn. And because we're at our city cap, we're free to spend our Imperium as much as we'd like. So we have been engaged by... This is considered a safe battle. We could auto this, but this might be kind of a cool battle too. Let's let's warm up here. I don't have a ton of time, as you could probably see by the length of the video. I've got like maybe 40 minutes to record today. And I'll tell you why in just a second. Uh, but let's make it action pack if we can. You know what, I will go right in the center here with my range. Something like this, something like that. You've got Revitalize. Huh. That's pretty cool. You can conjure an animal. Let's see what we get. Okay. Everybody I think just needs to chill. You can teleport now. Let's chill. Chill. Maybe not some of the best placement here. But what the heck are we even fighting? Some skeletons with halberds? Some zombies. And yeah, the big boy here, the bone wyvern. Let's move up. Still out of my range. That's okay. I'm gonna put you centralized. You are gonna go here and just kind of guard the flank. And I think zombies come back to life. Let's rock blast these nerds. Sweet. Love having a direct damage spell. Two regeneration. I don't know if regeneration lasts for like the entirety of the run. But I like all the buffing we have going on here. We're going to draw them in. They don't have any range. they got to come to us. And, you know, they're going to get in. This kind of sucks. I think he's going to make it so that I can't shoot. But if we just target him really hard, we'll kill him. And then we'll be able to shoot with our hero. Pretty sure our hero has a melee attack as well. So that doesn't really matter. This guy's got some retaliation. We'll rock blast that guy. May have wanted to let the rock boys take the retaliation damage. Because the frost boys are a little more vulnerable thanks to their placement next to the wyvern. Something to have considered. Alright, we're going to regen here. If I can ever remember to click correctly. I think that's pretty sweet. Just get the spiders up and over. Alright, let's go for the kill here. Sweet. 
Let's use a big attack here. More damage. And then now we can use our ranged attacks from our hero. Sweet. And with that, I mean, this battle's over. Two, two zombies aren't going to be able to do much. And the region is sweet. It's going to keep us topped off. If we had autoed this battle, there's a chance we would have taken some unnecessary damage. Let's just get this kill. I'm pretty sure the zombies come right back to life. But our morale is super high. What is this? Unit teleporter and okay. It deals damage to adjacent units, so it hits my units as well. That kind of sucks. Um, I'd rather just... Can't quite reach here. Let's, uh... Let's move, then. Oh, I can't. Of course I can't move. Duh. Then chill. Do the zombies come back to life? They are healing, though. That's a little... little crummy. Nice damage. And we shot our spiders right in the face. That's okay. Get the kill, spider. If you can. Almost. You know what? I'm not waiting another turn. Let's get rid of them. Waste a little magic. So we got some level ups. Awesome. But our elementals have not leveled up. That's what we really wanted. I want to get some big boy elementals. So you got demon step. Cool, cool, cool. Eagle eye. Extra range and... I, you know, I like that. As someone who's using a bow, our only bow character. Love to get something like restore as well. An experience leader may be very important in like a summon focused build. Yeah, I'm going to take that. And I was even thinking, so right now we have Stone Spirits and Lesser Snow Spirits. What can we summon? Eh, just Lesser Stone Spirits. That's okay. Orders required. Let's get you, get thee to a nunnery. Nice. Our army has been merged. This army also picked up our Iron Golem, our first Iron Golem. We're going to want to send you south, Mr. Iron Golem. And what unit are we going to take out for the Iron Golem? That's a, a good question. Probably one of these real basic Anvil Guards. Could take out like a, a Halberdier. Having a little bit of unit variety, I've kind of enjoyed, but we'll leave him in here for now. What are we producing? Let's check and see if we can annex anything. We have negotiations that are needed. Okay. We have a lot of stuff to do. Negotiations succeeded. Good news proceed. Nice. So we've been kind of slowly accruing... Loyalty from Dawnwatch. That was good. A new rally. Could get a defender, a shield unit. That's cool. 
and a Bannerman. Sure. I kind of like the idea of giving that character that we recruited from annexing the other city. Giving those units of the same race to that leader. I think that's pretty cool. Let's settle grievances for cash. Yeah, this is the guy that doesn't like to settle grievances. Something to do with his Imperial Warlord. Eventually, I'm going to declare war on you, and then I'm just going to wipe you out. Sweet. We also leveled up with Severford. And we produced a bunch of stuff. So we're going to need to go through and build new things here. I am tempted. Everyone's pretty happy, so I don't need a tavern, I don't think. Let's build some of these special things. Extra production for every adjacent quarry. Uh, it's whatever. Okay. What I'm thinking is this might end up being the the part of the world where we have some serious battles. And I just spent way too much money. More money than I meant to spend. Because now we're going to have to make some money in order to make sure that we can upgrade some of this stuff. Sure, let's get the town hall leveled up. Having all these cities is definitely taxing on the old income. Everyone's good. We just need to move you guys. We're going to come back in and see if we can't pick on some of these armies. And we're going to try to keep our armies together. You... Hmm. These dudes look pretty tough. I don't know if they are, though. It's a bunch of tier 1 nerds. God, I've got 19 turns to finish them. Let's take some freebies in the area. I have so much mana, I don't even need. Let's allow them to go for some good alignment. Now that sucks because it didn't give me what I wanted. Which was experience. But close here. This is a good helmet for you. Extra defense and accuracy? That's sweet. Yeah, it did give me what I wanted, which was experience, but I, it's hard to complain about getting free food. And a cool item. Let's prospect here. We got a wand of blizzards. It's a miscellaneous. It does damage. Okay, let's take that. Then let's move you south. Continue exploring. Plenty of cool enemies running around. Let's see, a wand of blizzards. I like that for our melee focused lord character. It'll give him a little more magic to cast. Something offensive if we want. He's getting pretty damn stacked. We just need some some damn boots, man. Ooh, we've got an enemy army here. Okay. Time to roll. Come down here and see if we can't defend ourselves. And every army they send towards me is one army that's not going to be back at their base defending. Magic origin unit upkeep is reduced by 20%. Okay.
this could give me quite a bit of knowledge. Not that I necessarily need that right now, because we've currently got Whispering Stones in two cities. So that's bonus 20 knowledge per turn. Get a little more tribute. One siege project slot. Teleporter province improvement. I mean, that seems insane. If we could teleport around our cities. Not that our cities are super far apart or anything. Some of the best stuff we can't currently get. Right of the Dreadnought seems pretty sick. Yeah, we might just hold on to what we have. But we need to spend some of this. Let's spend a little bit of cash right now. And we'll get... We'll get things that help us defend our settlements. Okay, nothing there, nothing there. You can expand. Okay. I'm tempted to expand this way just so that they can't expand towards me. Because once I cut them off, I mean, I have all of this to myself. All right, that was good enough logic for me. You, I've accidentally queued up way too many things. That's what happens when you don't play for a day or two and then you come back to a game. Leaf skin is now active. Or at least we have the ability to, to get it going. Artisan fortification. Bolt repeater towers. I mean, that sounds insane. How do we lose? So let's go ahead and get that going. It's going to take several turns. Okay. I'm kind of dreading this fight. Because I feel like it's going to be quite difficult. And you can wait now. And then you guys are going to keep scouting. Let's get in the water. See what we can see. And if we're done scouting, like, there's no more real lands to scout. No more, like, I mean, there's still stuff on the very edges of the map. Uh, if we feel like our prospecting days are pretty much done, we can always just send this back. I mean, we could delete it, too, and kind of save ourselves the cash. But we could send it back, add it to our defensive army here. Get them going that way. You know what? Next turn, we'll go into the underground passage here. I think that's going to be cool. That's a pretty spooky army right there. You're going to go here. And that's going to make it so that I can't reach these guys this turn. And also, this dude doesn't quite need to come back now but boy do we have to spend some cash man i need to i need to get more money and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get this mint there's so much that i want orders required for this hefty gentleman They've got a lot of armies defending. If I attack them outside of the city, do I still trigger a siege? Because these guys are not weak. That's a lot of units. We're going to pillage. Okay, two units cannot pillage at the same time. Good to know. Let's have you in guard. You can go ahead and enter the underground for us. There should be some cool stuff for us to... Nice. Free money, free stuff. Excellent. Excellent. And this turn, man, are we doing it? I think we are. I hate that these guys are running towards me. 
It's a low risk battle. We could auto combat, but that where's the fun in that? Let's manual. Don't know what all this guy can do, but he's got a decent amount of HP. It's this enfeebling howl that we need to be a little bit scared of, letting him get into melee with us. We've got some kind of defensive positions up on this hill. In these woods here. Yeah, I don't I don't hate our defensive positions. First things first, let's see what kind of animal we get. Dread spiderlings, okay. We are gonna turtle up. Get you in a central location. This might not be the best. I'm, I'm counting on our ability to just shoot flyers. This dude is super scary. How much damage does this do? Here we move forward one. See if we can't get a kill right off the bat. Sweet. Bring you there. Bring you here. And with that, we've got a bit of a wall going. I hate that these guys are right out front, but they're also quite freaking strong. Eventually, we need to start working on them. Okay. Could have used that turn to boost my spider damage. What a weird sentence. Alright, let's see what they do. See who they choose to target. Hurt and weakened everyone. Boy, that... That sucks. We resisted the blind. That's good. So, we're gonna wanna try to, like... One of these guys that isn't hurt. Yeah, I don't know if we can mind control the big wolf. But we're gonna try to mind control something. Can't have an enemy in your zone of control. I did not know that. So that being said... It would be great if we could clear our zone of control. Let's finish him. Alright, and that comes with some pretty good morale bonuses for us. Boy, the retaliation might be worse. Yeah, 
It might not be worth it, is what I was thinking. On a turn where we're not going to attack him more than once, it's probably not a great thing. Alright, we'll just bolster ourselves. Put huge damage on this guy. Could also teleport behind. Doesn't do almost any damage. It's just nice to have it for positional purposes. Is there no one else? In the famous words of Maximus Decimus Meridius. Yeah, not great placement on these guys. We just don't have a ton of frontliners in this army. Which does kind of suck. Alright, let's just finish you off. That frees up our zone of control here. How does this work? I saw the percentage chance was like 29% or something. Bare minimum, we distracted him. There's no one for him to attack, so I, like I said, I don't even know how that works. Sweet. Flanked and got critical hits, too. Pretty awesome. They're fleeing the field. Let's kill them. So far, I've been letting everyone escape. Without really knowing the difference. And I don't, I'm not even sure there is a difference. But letting our hero get the kill, I think, gives it more experience. So, it's part of my decision-making process. And we didn't lose too much there. That was good. And that was for a quest. Now that the monsters at the gold vein have been slain, the surviving miners come out of hiding. We owe our lives to you, foreigner. Their master prospector begins to say, Take a look at our treasury. Name any item and it shall be yours. We will leave this perilous place and return to our homes. So we got a materium boom. Cool, 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 cool. And then we gain extra stability. We can take a... I mean, that's a lot of money. Take a Ring of Escape, which may be one of the best rings in the game, but I've got a ton of rings. I don't know. We can instantly finish the Town Hall. Let's take the money. We shall take the money. Kind of wish I hadn't gotten that one, because I think once I cleared this guy, maybe I would have been able to, to take some of this. But that was awesome for us. Now we're back home. We're going to start regening. Go ahead and wait a turn. Stoneforge can annex something. I mean, I guess we just keep taking the coast, huh? Additional food. And now that we're basically rich... This is going to need something next turn. Um... Sure, let's get a grand mill. Just more food, please. You're already kind of swimming in future projects. Let's get a higher level wizard's tower. You. Kind of whatever's cheap. Get a market. shrine. Got it. Alright, and with that we will end our turn. Really hoping these guys will come out to try to stop us from raiding. I really just want to learn how this works. So if we attack here, our other armies, even though they're raiding... Yeah, we're going to auto that. They join the battle. I can't believe they let them do that much damage to me, but that's fine. Hey man, if you're not in the city... Oh, this is a siege. Okay. 
Cancel. Can I not attack this guy? I guess maybe they're both considered inside the city. And the other guy, for whatever reason, just left. Okay. I would like to learn how to do sieges, so let's let's start a siege here. A siege on this city. It takes a number of turns to breach the city's walls, depending on its fortification health. The following assault may be bloody, but a city is a valuable prize when captured. To influence the duration of the siege, you can pick siege projects on the bottom left of the siege screen. This can speed up the siege or destroy enemy defenses to make the upcoming battle easier. So we've got bolt repeaters. I mean, that seems awesome. Alright, let's take that. After the defender's tower units are destroyed at the start of combat. I mean... Additional wall breaches might be great. Although, I think we favor a wall breach type of battle. We've got shielded tank dudes. We just want to make one hole and sit in it. And we've got healing and we can just attack from a distance. I think we'll be better at that than the AI. Damages the support defense structure of the city. Headlong assault. Hmm. Units defending the city take 20 physical damage at the start of combat. I like that. Let's just take that. Okay. I mean, the question really is just... All these guys, are they... Together? Pick that up. Got some production for our trouble. You are going to come down here and smash these guys. It's a low risk battle, probably just because this character is pretty damn strong. Let's auto and see what happens. No. No, I, I don't think I will. That might end up being, like, what happens. But I think we can do better than that, especially if we use our magic. We can even back up in order to allow ourselves to use more magic. Uh -huh. It's this character. This character is going to do all the damage. They have range, they have healing. They can summon a tier 3 elemental. That, that is pretty strong. I've got plenty of magic on you. I did not mean to cast that, but that's okay. I gave a star blades for three turns. Honestly, did not mean to cast that. It is okay, though. Oh, I thought these were a different unit. What do you do? Bulwark standard. Bolster defense. Okay. Yeah, we we don't want you here. We're going to move you. Expecting a big elemental to come out. Yep. We're going to drop all our magic on you. Let's see if we can't kill you. Some decent fire damage there. Can put some lightning damage down. 
You're out of range for that. I mean, pretty sweet. I think we move one over there. How many turns does this last? Let's see. Three turns. Okay. Pretty good. Next turn is the big engagement turn. That's the best character we could have asked for them to attack. Because that guy just defends himself and heals. Huge damage. And let's get the wargs in there to finish them off. So killing her without the AI even being able to summon or do anything like that, we've already, I think, put ourselves way ahead of where I thought we were going to be. Okay, those misses were atrocious. That was pretty good, though. You could charge in. We'll just heal you, though. Turn to stone and start healing. Yep, and we'll bring in the pikeman. Peasant pikeman. Excellent. Yeah, this fight was not nearly as deadly as the AI wanted me to believe. Sweet. Try to get away from me. We'll let all of our ranged characters do their work. Get a nice flank attack there with our wargs. Sweet. And down you go. And that's one less army for our enemy here. If we want to be cheeky, I mean, we could even bring this army in to try to help with this siege. I don't, I just don't know how difficult it's going to be. A free city has been vassalized. Sweet. And we got our Whispering Stone returned. So now we're in like a different tier. You can sell your remains. Let's inspect you first. Robe, staff, we don't care about any of that. We've already got a ton of those. Let's sell the remains. And we can even sell the items if we want. Sure. You look like you're coming to get me. Let's get you first. We'll auto combat this. Unless it kills off a bunch of my guys. And it did not. Nice! And our, snow, our lesser snow spirit has leveled up. So, I don't know what promotion level it has to be. Let's see, where does it show that? Um... It's right, so let's close this. I want to hover over where it shows the metal. Oh, here, Elite. So at champion level, it will evolve into Stone Spirit. Got it. So it just needs one more level. I mean, this army just became so much stronger. When, when the, both of these guys are tier 3 units, we are going to be jacked. You got leveled. Go ahead and do something with that.
Let's get you Eagle Eye. Being a little thematic. And then maybe we can even get rid of this dang infestation with this army. You... Man, I don't know. Maybe we just use you to keep an eye on our enemies. An evil presence. Got it. Have they come out to meet me? Is that what's happening here? Let's go. I've got time for one big battle. Let's do it. It looks like they have left their walls behind and are going to try to attack me in open field, which probably won't go well for them. We've got the, the numbers and the quality. So quantity and quality both being on our side. Now, they do have a level 7 hero with a great sword here. Probably a terrifying unit that we need to be very aware of what it's doing. And I think that's their only hero unit. It's not going to go well for them. And once they throw away their army like this... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what their options are after that. That's our anvil guard. Golem assistant. Bastion right in the center. And this is where we make our wall. I was about to yell a 300 quote. I've decided not to. I was going to say, this is where we hold them. This is where we fight. This is where they die. Gotta love 300, man. Okay. It's a little homoerotic, but, you know, whatever. Some people are into that. Um, let's get you guys here. Stone speared out on the flank. We are making the Great Wall here. Oh no, we walked him into a cactus. What the hell? Okay, well, I didn't notice that, but now I know that's a thing. about to say we got a quick restore no nothing's really in our area here close 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 you yeah I would like to restore you but we're not close enough it's more about how they move than anything that we do. If they split up like this, I mean, our direction becomes kind of easy. I can go right in and try to smash this dude. Hindering Blizzard. Kind of a cool ability. Okay. Go here. 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 I do want my hero in the front. I don't care if he's taking damage. You have a teleport. A hundred HP? Okay cancel. Would like to get rid of any source of healing that they have. You... Let's move you. Heal here. And then with that, I think we can end our turn. Everyone just goes defense mode. And we just want to see what they do. They're just making this guy a super tank. These dudes are huddled up in the center here. 
Yeah, cast a heal on that character, that's fine. If you don't come forward, we'll come forward, and then we'll get a surround off. That's a, a summon unit, essentially. We don't really care if they get wrecked. That's kind of why I put them in that position. It's kind of corner position here. Sweet. I do want to see how good this spell is. They, they're not really, like, falling into it, though. If I can't hit three guys with it, I don't even want to use it. Alright, let's teleport in. Double retaliate there. We're gonna shoot, hope we don't hit our own guys. Move here. And whiff. Not the best turns, huh? See, now they're kind of doing a number on us because they're overloading our flank. So now it's time for us to move up the center. We don't get bleed for passing through there. Good to know. We're going to take quite a bit on this. I thought our heavy charge removed their retaliation and stuff. Let's see how that works. No. They got some kind of first strike. Give you guys a bolster defense here. The Arbalister. Do you have a shot? We got wrecked on that one. I think the only thing we have left to do is move our hero, maybe. Quake. Deals damage in a two hex radius. Demolishes. Okay. Start hitting him. It's going to be tough to get past these dudes. They're pretty damn tanky. AI is being pretty damn smart. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to move here, cast Restore here, and that sets up a few things. If this guy wants to get in on us, he can go here, here, he can try to move past us here or around here, or he can just engage our hero, probably standing in a cacti or something. You haven't moved either, huh? Okay. Let's move up. We're not doing too bad. If you just want to use their strongest character to just heal. An archer. We're okay with that. But we've kind of met our equal here in terms of tankiness.
Okay. That's a little rough for us. Would very much have loved to kept er, keep every unit that we have. We're going to send a group of guys over here to make this fight as uneven as possible. Man, pikemen versus cavalry. Not great. Not our turn. Oh, we've been taunted. Got it. I see that purple line. That means we've been taunted. Okay. I gotta get the, rid of these guys. The iron golems don't do a lot of damage. They got lucky and got a critical there. And then we move here and get the kill. Okay. Move here. Shoot here. All of these guys have gone already, correct? Yes. We're going to roll up this flank pretty easy. Can heal you whenever we need. Let's see what I've got now with this. I've got a four-man spell. Yeah, we, we use those. Huge damage. Let's see if we can poke holes in this shield wall. God, that doesn't do much, huh? Let's take that 90 percenter over here. Our pikemen. Let's go defensive. Keep sending this anvil guard over to try and get there to help. Anything else, man. got an alarm that's about to go off I gotta go help teach a kids jujitsu class the guy who normally teaches a lot of the kids class he works for my uh, black belt professor oh that's terrible he broke his ankle skateboarding and we've lost an arbalister that sucks good focus fire from you I wasn't sure if you'd be able to like move past my zone of control for my hero to do that but they're hardcore focusing my archers now not a bad strat we've got two stacks of retaliation here I don't know if we got to use them both losing an archer is not a big deal we'll just put the iron golem into this stack I wouldn't be surprised if that's the only unit we lose this combat all right, all the taunted dudes are going to go now. While the AI takes their turn, I might have to get my freaking gi and stuff on. I should have known these guys would be tanky as hell and this would take forever. Move here. We can taunt you, so you can't do that again. We absolutely need to. Resist it because they're just going to go to kill here.
We're going to bolster our defense. A flank here would do a ton. Let's do it. I think we have a special weapon and ring that lets us do more damage when we flank. You've already attacked. Alright, get rid of you. Get out of here. You've already attacked. Get rid of you. Get the cab moving. That'll be dead next turn. And 80% chance we get this kill. Not quite, huh? Okay. Really just worried about these guys here. We're gonna take a hit. That's fine. Anvil Guard don't do a lot of damage. Small price to pay to just completely get rid of an archer unit. Which we weren't able to do. Yeah, I think we need to fast forward a little bit, huh? Much rather that guy be casting spells than smacking me in the face. Might run this guy out of here. He's been flanked by the little guys. If I can't move you, I should probably heal you. And we got a couple finishes here. Hell yeah. Get you over there. And the kills are rolling in now. Let the slow units do that. Let our cav unit run as far as he can. Let's move here, see what I can hit. Can't do anything, so we run. just smack all right guys while they're doing that I'm gonna go ahead and get my jiu-jitsu gear on oh it's my turn already yep, fast forward I should have had fast forward on the whole time Ugh. Got to squeeze into this rash guard. With my 33-year-old dad love handles. Too much information, sorry. Okay, um, let's get that. Easy mode kill. Yeah, I don't have time. I don't have time to get the satisfying conclusion. But I think that's all of them dead. We lost one archer for our trouble. We got intimidation tactics. And we are done. I mean, they lost their battle and we're still sieging them i'm not sure what goes on with this but we got another quest guys that's gonna be it for today when i come back i'm gonna finish all this and make another video and we'll pick up right where we left off last time see you in the next one take care y'all